Um, this video is for Kingi. Tauru, Chief Kingi Tauru. Um, haven't seen him for a while. Uh, from the 28th of October uh, 2016, when you told me to go home. That's the last I saw of you. Now, I've done a lot of uh, thinking since then, and also um, recapping on uh, the next move. As far as I'm concerned, um, I'm sticking to what we had together, planned, for the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court on the 15th of um, April 2016 this year. <coughs> what happened there continued to the 6th of February 2017. I've spoken with uh, Jim Wikotu and um, we're on the same page as far as the military is concerned, the Navy and Korora Reka and also Jim Wikotu for the flag's sake. The history goes right back in his involvement um, and mine and yours. I'm sticking to you for this reason of what we have already put down, laid down, and I've sent to Westminster, cannot change. Your name is um, Paramount Chief of Nati Kawa, Nati Rahiri, Nati Rihia. Historic uh, record on what I'm keeping here on file. Uh, on your behalf, and the behalf of the Taumata in Titi Marae, in readiness to go into the Waitangi Marae Courthouse. Uh, I've spoken to Hoheba, and it got me riled up last night, and that put a damper on things um, between me and him. I just don't envisage the fact that anyone can tell me something I already know and I'm speaking for the king and nothing less. So it's that or nothing uh, with what I've got in documents that matter and stack up uh, behind your um, taumata there, in particular Korora Reka, um, first title that I'm trying to address here. I've been cut off again, Kingi, you weren't there, from making my presentation of proclamation in front of the um, Congress assembled in that Titi Marae, Whare. Never got to do a five minute proclamation. That's how all it takes. I've timed it to take five minutes and five minutes for the rest of the presentation. Never got that completed because of um, people jumping up when I'm on my feet. Anyway, out of that, uh, the Taumata, um, um, happy enough, uh, I've dished them out the proclamation. I've had 20 copies that I gave to the people I think uh, I, I, I would uh, want to read it, as well as the, the whole of the Taumata, including Francis and some of the other queer there. I know the faces from way back, all the ones that have been sitting there every time I've been in there in the last 20 years, Kingi. So uh, it's disappointing what's happening um, uh, there and not getting the full story of what you and I had already gone through, uh, that uh, a lack of communication on the part of um, those who are uh, organising everything in there, apart from what you said, that stuck, that you wanted, a whakamininga uh, set up. Now you got your wish, and I'm following up on that whakamininga there with the group I'm happy with. I'm happy with um, the way it's turned out, and, and Johnny Boy, um, whoever, I'm happy with him. We've made up our differences that he's got a job to do, I've got a job to do. My job is not here, it's in England. Okay, so I leave the land issues with the Whakamininga and yourself, the chief, the oldest out of the Komatuas, Tomata, standing on your feet, last name. Okay, that's the way this works.
as far as I'm concerned with the record. Um, for the Navy and the British uh, Secretary of Defence, Michael Fowler, and the um, uh, uh, John, um, um, the um, Navy Chief of Navy uh, Defence Force, uh, Jones, Philip Jones, okay, um, Air Marshal F Philip Jones, he's an Air, Air, Air Force uh, in charge of the uh, British military. Uh, to him, watching this video, and those officials in um, the Navy in Britain, and also the Royal New, New Zealand Navy here, at least I got a answer from Tekani, um, uh, Te Weata, a Navy officer at Devonport, did tell me they could not attend because they didn't have much time left to uh, organise anything and they hadn't got an answer back from the Rear Admiral, uh, Chief of Navy, John Martin King. So I'm happy with their response for not turning up, but I did write to John Martin on the 30th of September, so that's um, 28 days at least, to re respond, and didn't. He, he didn't respond. I'm, I'm, I'm quite um, disappointed with no response from him. Uh, I got a response from the British High Commission uh, to put on record that uh, the gate wasn't open to me uh, for the um, um, Fukuminia to go inside on the 28th at 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay, that didn't happen. But, um, however, I've, um, I told um, uh, Jim week or two um, on the mobile from the gate at um, uh, that uh, no one, uh, no, the Mori uh, Ratna, uh, the cultural manager, didn't turn up to open the gate. But um, Tipene was there, Paul Tipene, the constable, Paul Tipene, in, in civil clothes, in, in his own car, was there with me. So I filmed that part of the um, historic moment of no show Navy and no show Waitangi National Trust for this 182-year celebration of that flag and the founding of this country, Aotearoa New Zealand. Okay, so that's disappointing right in front of everybody in the world watching this video and all the other videos I've got on now. A lot of people are starting to wake up to the fact that the Queen and her commercial contracts are jeopardising the King's Bench Court inside the Admiral ready for the 6th of February Kingi. This time, you and I will pre-plan everything happening in there. As I can see, uh, Ruben um, Heihe and, and William Heihe are quite happy with my performance, with the proclamation that they've got in hand. There was no complaints about that from anyone that I've handed it out to, that uh, they can see that I'm there for that reason only and nothing else. Okay, so um, um, I managed to achieve that much for you and I, and you being uh, King Edward and uh, Queen Victoria Trust claimant that I'm putting that in. You, you've got that stake in the financial uh, martial law side of this King William IV Maori Crown uh, Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World that I'm set up in Britain with uh, my Secretary there um, of the company, uh, my powerhouse group limited limited in London, Matt Taylor. He's the leader of the Maui King William Party, political party, when I get there, to go straight into Westminster to put the flag up and train straight out into the world. Kiki. So you're still a number one paramount chief here, as far as I'm concerned, on the documents. It's stuck, it's not coming off. Those documents are fixed in time. There was nobody around when we're talking about this, and no one in all the places I've been to, with the Confederation of Chiefs, Mohi Manikau and all the rest of them, but I'm just saying, I'm putting everything in its right place. That's your piece of land at Waitangi, where that ship is stuck on the land there, and that's your piece of land on the other side in Rehia, Kororareka, where that ship is stuck on the land, hard and fast on dry land.
Okay, that's all I got. The ships that came in with the Admiralty, Martial Law, Mortgage, Land, Title from King William IV. Dead. That's what created everything after that in the Queen's world that I'm going to audit there and here and right around the Commonwealth countries of the world and where the flag has gone with the Queen giving it to every Tom, Dick and Harry just like um, uh, DOJ uh, handing out subpoenas to everybody Tom, Dick and Harry um, 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 handing out uh, immunity uh, just like candy Right? Uh, same as the Queen handing out the, the King's commerce title to anybody Tom, Dick and Harry to make money out of. Okay? And he gave it to Obama to screw and set up all this um, uh, ISIS um, war and scamming money off everybody. Okay? Right, Kingy? Uh, I shall um, stick to our original agreement we had. I've got your signature on there, it's electronic, and it's stuck right there with Jamie's and mine. Jamie's being my private secretary when I travel, or here in uh, New Zealand, uh, from Whakatohea area and um, Tuhoi and Tainu um, uh, Hapu. Okay, so she's down there in Whakatane in that area for her family, and um, but all our work with her on the documents and signature beside yours and mine. That's it. I'm not putting any other chief officers too late to change legacy. These things are legal inside that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court on the 15th of April 2016 this year was coinciding with the 10th of April 2016, the raising of the flag upside down on Kororareka Mighty Hill above Russell. That's Jim Wikutu was responsible for that and he was responsible for the flag raising on Waitangi Treaty Grounds. On that ship he put it upside down on both ships. Okay, that's down on record uh, that I've got with him and the Navy. Okay, we're only dealing with the Navy ship thingy and the military and you being ex-army war veteran you have your place in all of this contract that I'm doing. It's a private contract, nobody's business, King. What I say with you, and what I say with Mohi Manukau or any other chiefs, Hare Ototonga and the Williams family, Henry Williams and, and the Williams family, Ben Williams at the back of uh, TB3 blocks there, is my first port of call with this Ototonga title there. Um, so, there. That, that, I, I, I go back to the Williams family when all is said and done and put them in their place. In the meantime, the documents stack up to one house title for that area. But on your side, Kingy, it's the trust and all the funds that are missing. The 99% of the deal is in Britain, Westminster and the High Court of Admiralty in London. The 1% is left here in that Marae for Maoris. Okay? The Maoris on Titi Morai in the Queen's Bench Court only get 1%. That's all they've been allocated out of the Maori Crown, King William IV, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World. Right? In this H1 Star New World Order. Okay? Okay, King, you got that? Just on the, on the flag, the four stars in the corners. This is what it is. King William on his horse and his ship and the Admiralty and all that gold that's missing in the Queen Victoria Trust. That's your business, nobody else's, okay? You're the only one I picked out from King Edward Line <coughs> and um, Queen Victoria Line from being the niece of King William IV, okay? We have a king now, King Ernest Augustus V in England. We're going to Kingy, we're going to proclaim and nominate him as uh, to the front in Westminster. We're going to do that very soon, and I want to put the document together with you on the U.S. warship coming here, the nuclear warship coming here to the military again. And nobody else is in the military as much as you are. I'm forewarning the military, U.S. military, that's coming here on the 8th, 
not to, it's, it's, it's forbidden for the US federal state and Obama and Clinton administration, uh, Obama administration as well, Clinton Foundation, Ross Charles, Pope, uh, Soros, and their ISIS organization of criminal activity to force any laws of admiralty, financial mars martial law, or martial law in this country, New Zealand, when it comes into the harbour. It's an offence. This is going to the British military, um, uh, Secretary of Defence, to stay them of power overriding our contract, private contract with him, Michael Fallon, and the Westminster Parliament and um, courts, High Court of Admiralty in London. Okay, I'm just making this video. Affidavit, authority, as sheriff of the King's White Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court to the British Westminster Parliament, Prime Minister, uh, Theresa May, and also to my Secretary of the Maui, the Ruling Party, and also the Maui Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company, Corporate King William Party Company, Matt Taylor. Um, Secretary, <coughs> that there are notice from me under this 8.7 New World Order to cease and desist from enforcing any alien law on these lands apart from the King's Law, 1830 to 1837 Acts of William IV. Parliament, Westminster, applies. And that private contract has not been severed or the continuity of sovereignty of the flag still exists as life. Okay? Cannot, cannot be changed only by the Chiefs and myself to go there representing the Tomata on Tati Marae and the Chiefs of Kororareka at that time, and Northern Chiefs and Hauraki and um, I'm pulling in the other chiefs who are behind the Confederation of Chiefs on Titi Marae, including Jim Wikotu. We've got Manahi um, uh, Tengaidi um, in the Native Court with us as part of the uh, Taumata and um, uh, Kaumatu group in Napui, and also the group that I'll be going to see in Whakatoa here with Kim Wikotu to join them up to me, the Sheriff, and to Kingi, the Chief, Paramount, over those ancestral lands where the sh two ships are marooned. Okay? Okay, Kingi? You got that? I'm just sending this to Waitea, Wa Wa Radio Waitea, 6.03 a.m. And I'm free to talk to you at any stage that nothing's changed between us, even though everything's gone on. and. Uh, it appeared that um, I had, may have been um, jeopardised your position there with Sunakora and her Maori government putting claim to the lands. And I'm saying it's not going to override your title and the Tomata or any of everything I do straight to Britain. All of the titles come under the New South Wales government and the United Nations and World Court has nothing to do with Britain, Westminster Parliament, the military of Britain, our protectorate, and the chiefs of those men that sat around the board to country in Tingaiti and King William IV. Okay? It's the King's Bench Court, and no one's going to speak in that Marae Kingi. Only you will say who speaks, but I'll say Jim Wikotu and um, Lou, uh, not Lou Tangari, um, Manahi Tangari will speak. As far as I'm concerned, those two, and if necessary, Willie Pater. But I'm just sticking, letting you make the call in that marae, because I set it up. 
must seek this out for this reason. From that tomata, then uh, the tomata in Tijima arrived straight to um, Britain, UK, Westminster Governor, as the contractors, right? the contracting party. And all those people are making treaty claims are out of it. Are out of it. When you settle another country is in conflict with the Whakamininga, uh, part of the flag of the 20th of March, 1834. The um, alligator, HMS Alligator, and its captain, uh, Captain um, George Lambert. Okay, he fired off the 21 gun salute at the same time in the harbour at that James, uh, James Reddy Clinton was sitting on his HMS. Um, Navy ships that proclaimed the land belonged to the King of England, King William IV. So, there, King, I'm just putting things in perspective legally that now our Acts of Parliament 1830 to 1837, King William IV, applies to all the documents we passed in the um, um, Waitangi Day, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th on Titi Marae this year, okay, um, February 2016. So those went into that Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court and passed. All those acts and uh, resolutions are put together and stood up in Titi Marae on those days, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, in particular the 6th of February, I stood up and said to you, the only way to get your land back is to seize the ship, you remember? Seize the ship and the uh, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, where John Keyes was doing his business illegally, right, without consent from the chiefs, okay? I'm talking in particular the Whakamininga 38 chiefs that made agreement with James Budley in Clinton, James Reddy Clinton and George Lambert, Captain George Lambert and Captain James Reddy Clinton on their, their His Majesty ships, okay? On that day, 20th of March, 1834, keep that in mind, that that's a sale and purchase agreement of a crown title to the Navy village where the immigrants came there and still there now, right? That formed the basis of all the titles in the native world on this flag, four corners of the earth, okay? That formed the basis of a blueprint of Kingi for the rest of the world, where the Queen went with our flag, the four corners of the earth, jurisdiction of Admiralty, Court Martial Law and Financial Martial Law. We're putting martial law, financial martial law on the Pound Oak King, we passed that as well on the 15th of March, uh, 15th of April 2016, we passed the acts of the Pound Oak and the King William gold coins. Okay, we passed everything that I had written down, I'm going to put them all on back on Facebook with you and that video, uh, staking your claim to the Queen Victoria Trust Fund. That's gone missing. It was Gordon Bowden, ex-military Air Force, who made claim that the Queen has emptied out ancient treasury and took the money somewhere else. So that's what I'm going there for, to audit the books and hold her to account for what's missing and sting her with the download and your signatures right next to it with Jamie's and I. Okay, that's it. We, we set this up. The other people just ignored it. Anybody in the Marae ignored everything I'd ever said in there because they don't understand commerce this way. And surnames, Kingy. The surnames do matter. When you're standing on your feet, your surname must add up to what and who you are. And what you're standing there for. Okay, I'm standing there for East Island, Rarote Island, Aote Island, and Maui Statue in London, standing right there waiting for me to go there and claim him and his mana whenua. Okay? 
the man of Finland, no? Tang of Finland, man of Finland. The owner of the land. Okay? You are the owner of the land in the commercial world as the rent chief, not the mish chief, John Key. Okay? He has no fact uh, um, check. He has no fact check against his Panama Papers fraudulent documents that he's been getting away with all these years. We're going to audit him. His name is on the list in the High Court of Admiralty in London, um, Judge David Lindsay Mackey. And QC lawyer here, Hugh Tai Choi, Higgins, Hickson's um, lawyers in the Pacific Islands and New Zealand. Okay? They're in Australia, big company, that Hugh Tai Choi is a branch of. But he has his own practice, Utah Troy Lawyers, Auckland, that has my documents there. Now I'm going to see him at some stage because the police have lost the case against me, have no evidence, and no one will have ev any evidence in him against what I have for you in your legacy while you're alive sticks. It's on the record. And the legacy of Mohi Manaka and Hare Utatonga, those two in the Confederation of Chiefs. Those two gave me all their confederation stuff is here, and the titles, the original titles here to Britain. Okay, you, Kingy, you have your land title and the ship's on it, which means more than anything else in the whole world. Okay, the ship's there, stuck to your land, was put there, not down in Martin Close, not down South Island, not anywhere else. Those two ships uh, with the captains on were acting in the capacity of King. Now, I'm acting in the capacity of king of the whole world, right? Not just of here, of the whole world, on that land. Okay, king? You know what I mean, because we've been through this before. So I'm very sorry to tell you that I, I invited Sue to come up and speak for her Maori government, but because she doesn't want to make herself be known to the public with me, it just means that I'm in front of the whole world. I've got nothing to hide, no secrets, no no a hidden agenda, no UN thuggery where she's going to get her money. You've always said, Kingy, you have nothing to do with UN. That's true. Don't have anything to do with it because they're the ones that are stealing America with Hillary Clinton and their blue police hat brigade going right over the top of the military there. Okay, they're, they're using force of this King William IV court martial law on the people of America and the rest of the world. They're not going to come here and express that in front of us, you especially, King, while you're on your two feet and living. It doesn't matter. Your excuses from uh, the war and Agent Orange, all those other things that have affected all the um, um, war veterans and including um, Selwyn Clark up there in Hokianga, uh, Ahipara. I spoke to him, I had a good talk to him and told him what to do and how, what's best for him and while he's still alive on his feet. He's one of the last ones with you left that I can rely on and talk to and I know uh, him as well as you do for a long time and there's no one else left uh, except you too, and the other ones that I I know on the Thomas or or around who know me. Okay, so they'll be watching these videos. All you all you fellas, I've got your names now. You know who you are. You know what I'm talking about. So I'm here, um, King. When you're ready and you're uh, settled back from north, I'm busy. Um, I've got a lot to do. I've got letters to write to the government here and the government in Britain and warning them of their ship coming in on um, this month on the 175 year celebration of the Navy and uh, military here um, and also the um, uh, elections and the presidential uh, race in uh, America between Clinton and Trump. I'm watching that on the 8th of November I'm trying to get something online uh, notice um, uh, for that in readiness for any change in the position of Obama 
in what's happening there with uh, Queen Elizabeth, um, skull Avenue business, there and John Key here. John, if Obama goes down, Clinton goes down, they all go down, and John Key goes down here. That's when the flag shoots him and takes over. Okay, it's a timing thing. It'll happen from now till 6th of February. And Kingy, when we go into the Marae in, in the King's Bench Court, Waitangi Marae, you're there with the native court judges. I'm s setting them up now with themselves, and they know what to, to do when I have a blueprint for them and this proclamation they've already got to do the honourable thing and to use the court for its reasons with the flag and the ship there as our property and the marae our property seizure warrant okay i'm seizing cook street now 77 cook street you knew you've been on that with me all the way through and that's going back to 2008 you've been supporting me all the way through and you came to the court hearing there the first court hearing when i went in and um, uh, so I treasure that support. I don't see anybody else there. I saw you there with my two daughters. Okay, you can support me in there. And that sticks, as far as I'm concerned, that sticks because it was crucial that you were there to speak as a chief. But they didn't need to, but you being there was sufficient. I'll stick with you and you stuck with me and I'll stick with you all the way. Okay, nothing's gonna change about that. So that's all I wanna say, King. Um, I just better get on with things. Just posting a few things and let the public know where I feel and where I, th I think. And we have a big audience around the world, uh, King, and lots more interest in this flag saving everybody else's country that's been affected the same way as here. No different. Us to Americans or Indians or Africans or British, European people still caught up, caught up in this racketeering Queen Elizabeth the second, Pope Francis, Rothschild, Soros, Clinton, Obama, scam business, the FBI and all that, NATO, UN, scam business, IMF, all the rest of the financial issues, and with Putin, he's going to pull the trigger on, on, on um, all the people who are scamming uh, and blow them bits. Okay, and he blows the U.S. planes out of the sky over Syria. He's got the permission to be in Syria, not Obama or UN or NATO or anybody else. So they're target uh, for that reason, because the Syrians are looking after their own land, and it's their own private business sovereignty to look after their own sovereign lands, and not U.S. getting their nose bent out of shape now, with Clinton going under. And the FBI is stepping in now to try and clean the mess up that Obama set up and with Clinton administration and scarfing people's money off them. Okay? That's all. I'll see you later. I'll just put this in the email to right here, uh, 6 3 a.m. and um, lady, and she'll pass it on to you. Okay? Thank you very much. And to the people watching, <coughs> uh, and it, in particular, um, it's around the world. This is just one of many videos that I'm putting together to just show you um, how affected the indigenous people of the world is and the people of Dakota, uh, uh, what they go through with the uh, draconian laws of uh, US and Canada, Canada uh, over their um, indigenous lands, ancestral lands, and digging up their memorials to get rid of them so that they can put new memorials there by force. They're using martial law uh, of a king, not of a queen, of a king. And there's only one king that put those together. King George III, King and his sons, King George IV, King Ernest Augustus I, and King George IV. That's it. That's it. Four kings and the four corners of the earth of the stars and how legacy title right here in St. Patrick's Order. Okay, once more, I just want to say uh, Jamie Patrick is the Patrick Eight Point Star in the Tuhoi region, Tainui region, down in Whakatane, uh, where Jim week or two comes from Pauriki, the next place along, and that's the area that I'm hooking straight into Kingi in the Kororareka at the 1834 date. 
not the 1835 day, the 1834 day, 20th of March. Okay? I'm cooking them up, my tatua, waka, with the hokeana and the kororareka in one shot. Now, kohepa, I've got a message for you. Please do not tell me what I already know from Mori Manukau's history that covers the whole place. Where you are in Matauri Bay, is Manukau is there too, and those titles that Pauline has got, she's in the Manukau titles, and I can point them out for you all over the place. So be careful what you say to me, because the Manukau's are watching me. The British are watching me because they've got the Manukau title sitting right there, the Manukau land company with the titles right over this country and Chatham Islands. It's the Manukau name on Chatham Islands, that's the mystery part that's missing. The spiritual part is right there with the Moriori and the Tūruhu Patapurai that the British burnt all the forests to get them out of the forest. They're still there. They're still there. And the Maui is still there watching all you say. With your surname, your Epiha surname, you told me it's Epiglass. You joked about it, but your name has to stack up to who you are standing on your feet in front of me, one or straight from right there and Rapanui, East Island. Okay? I can talk from there. Those people are waiting and watching me too. So I know what I'm talking about on that Marae up there with Kingi's permission to talk. Right? I know him well enough right there. He's old enough to know what happened all the way through these years I've been with him. Now, the Tamata there now is knowledgeable on Mohi Manukau being on that marae for a long time too. Before he left, dropped all his stuff here. I got all here. Right? I got all the confederation stuff here. He put it together. The confederation that's going around now, where Jim is in that confederation. He put that all together with the incorporations that Jim was involved with. And the flag part, Mohi Manukau is Tera Waikato, Wharahere Manukau. I've got his memorials here with the carvings, with the four, um, four uh, tribes, four great tribes, and Aotea, Waka. Right? The four chiefs, four tribes, Taunui is one of those chiefs, right? and Arua, uh, Tamata Kapua in, in, uh, up, up in uh, Kaipara. I've got, I've, got, I've got it all marked here. I've got his marae, the moors there, in Arapawa, marked. I've got it marked as the titles in that area. I've got his titles up in his wife's side on Napui in, in Dougalville, up there. Right, I've got all those titles, all those lands right down to um, um, Pochu, Pochu. Right, I've got, I've got all those titles all the way through with Manukau's name, well, and the Rogan lands, Rogan Hill. Going to Dougalville. I've got all those titles along there, Matakawi. I've got all those titles here in the video, with me and on the video, right all the way up to Rafiti and Rawini, uh, all the way to to uh, 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 um, Bay of Islands and Tahi. All those Manukau titles, I've got them all here, right, and in my head. So with Kenny and his title, he 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 has his place. He 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 he's a bank more so the bank and the money uh, side of the ledger, right? That's nothing to do with anybody. He's in the military and the military and the Navy has control of the bank, okay? That's all there is to it. Navy, military, bank. Protection of the bank, the money, and that's Kingy's business. Hongi Hika had the muskets to take them all out, right? That's what he trained when he went to Britain at the same time as Tera Waikato Whareheri, Manukau. So Tera Waikato was the brains for the bank and the native court and the native money. Okay? Pahano. King Tafe of Pahano came out of that. Right? In Malatotari Hill Park, his far side. Right? Therefore, for Manukau, I've got all the history of that. I don't want to say much about that. Apart from he got peer captured by the British and and locked up on Kawa Island. That's all I'll say about that, but I won't say more. I won't say more about any of the other Manukau history because I'll leave that till I get to Britain. They'll have the receipt of that on the other end with the Wahanoa name there in the Maui statue intact. Okay? Two memorials. That's Manukau title 
to the land, native title, there. And Moai with Rānoa Street, and also the King William Memorial, intact, there. Memorial, flag, King, Moai, Chief, Admiralty, Marshal, Law, Sheriff. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need to make this work in the pound note and commerce and banks. Mortgage lens, mortgage levy, debtor, instrument, pound note. Okay, you got that? Uh, Daryl Payton in California and Rennie Powers in California. You take a leaf out of this book because you're affected the same way as my people are affected by the same rogue crown queen. Okay, it's her head that's doing the damage. The woman side of the bloodline is shifted the king title. The king is there to keep hold of the title and not sell it off. The queen is sell it because she, she, she doesn't own it. That's why she says she owns it, but it's only a paper title. That's all it is. Okay. So that's all for this video. Uh, I'll, I'll get on with it now and uh, um, send this letter off to Kimmy with this video. I'll put it on YouTube and you can see. Okay. That's my lot for the day. Bye for now. Have a nice day.